Do you have what it takes to be the next CEO and Faculty 2 Fellow Cycle 2? Well, my name is Dr. Nohidaya Azmi and I am from Faculty of Engineering Technology, University of Malaysia Pahang. I am the currently representative of UMP in CEO and Faculty Program 2 Cycle 1. According to the Malaysian Education Blueprint 2015 to 2025, under the shift of Talent Excellent, CEO at Faculty Program 1.0 is learned by the pros and currently CEO at Faculty Program 2.0 is coached by the pros. Now I would like to talk to you about CEO at Faculty Program 2, Exposure and Achievement. Well, based from the CFP 2.0 Cycle 1 success story, it can be said that approximately 4.5 million ringgit has been achieved from a total of 38 projects, case studies written by 54 fellows based on 54 CEOs, 0 0.9 million ringgit, a total of 7 grants has been generated, and 12 million ringgit in terms of 12 MOA ongoing, 13 MOU ongoing, and 1 LOI ongoing as part of the Industrial Academia collaboration. For my six months attachment at Proven Holdings in Jember Heart, I had extremely opportunity in terms of going to different types of um, exposures especially on uh, technical site experience where I get to be placed under the guidance of Tuan Haji Sufian Hashim which is currently the technical director at Proven Holdings. Some of the projects that I managed to get into including PPR Bagandatu, Polytechnic Bagandatu as well as a project in Desaru uh, in terms of building a double story bungalow and all of the opportunity in looking how Proven is currently manufacturing its own product, which is the P-Slabs. Another key performance indicator as one of the fellow in CFP 2.0, I have to bring forward the university and industry collaborations together. So what I did before, I initiated the meetings with UMP as well with Proven Holdings and sitting down discussing what would be the future collaborations that can be done by both parties. I am extremely grateful for the opportunity to be mentored personally with Dato Yusuf Juso, which is he is the executive chairman of Proven Holding. We basically um, got the time spent together around once or twice a month, so we get to talk about uh, leadership aspects, and he himself talk about the importance of being a great leader, what would be some of the elements in developing yourself into becoming a great leader, and all of these sessions has been really engaging. So another opportunity that I got between the six months attachment is I get to be engaged with ministries programs as well as NGOs programs and attended so many um, sessions at ICAP. So one of the highlights that I feel um, such an opportunity to be part of it is inside the Dialogue Transformasi National 2050, which is a TN50 with Yang Bohormat Minister of Mohi himself and Yang Bohormat Minister of Youth and Sports, Kairi Jamaluddin. Another opportunity that I received as part of being a fellow is I was being invited and appointed as the facilitator for Camp Pemukiman TN50 with JPSM, Jabatan Perhutanan, Semenanjung, Malaysia and the Ministry of Youth and Sports, Chief Secretary Datuk Lukman Hakim Ali. So over there, we were given the opportunity to engage with the participant and share our aspiration in forming Jabatan Perhutanan Semenanjung, Malaysia to a greater height. Another opportunity that I received is basically being the panel for Forum Jelajah Milenia Negeri Pahang that has been held at UMP Gambang. Another opportunity that I received as part of the six-month attachment, I get to be in different um, social gatherings and I get to meet different people, which is really exciting because these are all public figures. So one of them is um, Vivi Yusof, which is currently with 
is with Fashion Valley, and she's the daughter of Dr. Yusuf Juso himself. And Tan Sri Ismi Ismail, Dr. Hari Narayan, and um, Dr. Mary Yap, and just a few names being mentioned here. And I am so grateful for the opportunity given. The last key performance indicator that has been placed by the Ministry of Higher Education to all the fellows is basically there is the need in trying to develop an integrated corporate social responsibility project. So what I've been doing so far is I brought the project back to UMP and I initiated discussion with Jabatan Jaringan Industry and Masyarakat and together discussing on how we can plant more trees for UMP. So recently we have planted 300 trees at UMP Pekan and in the future we will be planting another 700 trees later on in September 2018. So are you all excited for cycle 2? I hope you are. So there are basically four objectives on finding the next CEO at Faculty 2, fellow cycle 2. So which is the first one is the reason why you guys should join is acquiring personal guidance of the CEO, building sustainable relationship between the industry and academia, unleash leadership potential of young lecturers, and empowering young lecturers in taking academic role at their respective university. So people have been asking me question on what basically will they go through before the attachment, after the attachment, and during the attachment. So basically, there will be three phases, as being mentioned before, where the first one, they will be going through learning modules to prepare themselves before attachment. And during the attachment, they have the pre-attachment modules, and they have the learning session that covers leadership-related modules. And the post-attachment will look into re-entry preparation and continuous engagement with the CEO at faculty program. So during the pre-attachment, these are all the timeline given. So it begins with the first until 15 of April, where the application opens, thus please apply for that. And then continues with the selection interview, boot, boot camp and fitness test, speed interview, CFP matching dinner with industry CEOs, and lastly, the preparation courses before the fellows are being attached for six months. So what are you guys going to do within the six months? There you go, there will be three KPIs imposed by the Ministry of Higher Education within this program. Whereas the first one is you need to have industry academia collaboration initiated by you. The second one is writing a CEO case study. And the third one is integrated CSR project. So once you're done with your six-month attachment, the question is what's next? So you still have to do some post-attachment modules, which includes military survival module, power communication, leadership alliance, and professional learning facilitator. So what are you waiting for? If you have what it takes to be the next CEO at Faculty Program 2 fellow, apply now. Thank you.